All right, Sacrifice fans, going to finish off the Lucio Fulci collection by watching the second one on here, House by the Cemetery. Never seen it before. Let's check it out. Movie starts with a, a couple in a house. She's looking for her boyfriend, Steve. Steve! She finds him. That's Bob, a little boy on the right. What girl, Bob? He thinks he sees a little girl. standing at the window in that house? She doesn't see anything. At the window. The house Bob was looking at was a photograph. I believe it's the house that they are going to be in soon. Taken many, many years ago. They're picking up the keys to the house they're going to rent. Bob's in the car and he hears that girl's voice again. On the other side of the street. And he sees her too. Hello. Hello. My name is May. I've been expecting you. This is Anne, the babysitter. Hi. Hi. Are you Mrs. Boy? Yes. Anne looks like this mannequin that we saw Mrs. before. Mrs. Gittleson sent me over. A mannequin we saw beheaded. I'm Anne, the babysitter. Next thing you know, he catches Anne trying to break into the basement. Busted. So he's come to this house. He's, he wants to do some research. Uh, are you going to carry out Dr. Peterson's research? Of course. You do well. Over here, uh, you find all the medical reports. Bob finds a grave in the yard. You know who that lady is, Bob? She was the wife of Dr. Freudstein. Who is Dr. Freudstein? Oh, it's all a lie. What's all a lie? It's really not very bad. Inside the house, yes, the living room, she finds the tomb of Dr. Freudstein, who died some 50, 60 years earlier. That freaks her out a little bit. St. New York. I know. Most of the old houses in the area have tombs in them. Really? No kidding. It's because in the winter it freezes here. Is that so? Yeah, the yard being like a rock, they bury grandpa at home. No more ghost talk now, huh? Come on, I've got to... I don't know how much truth there is to that in real life. They finally get into the basement where uh, they promptly get attacked by a bat who will not leave them alone. Then it goes after this guy's hand and will not let go until it is dead. It takes a lot to kill it. This woman falls into the tomb while looking for Anne. And that's not good. Because something, some sort of creature, grabbed the fireplace poker and started poking her with it really hard. Enough to cause death. Former researcher. Honey. Yeah? He was apparently doing experiments. That's why I have to take a trip to New York. He gets a hold of an audio cassette of uh, Dr. Peterson's notes. Peterson was apparently going mad.
Apparently, Peterson killed and dismembered his whole family. We're hearing the audio cassette and seeing what actually happened. Now she gets locked in the basement, this girl. I believe that's Anne, the babysitter. not going to end well for Anne. Oh, At one point, Bob goes down to check it out, and oh, look, it's Anne's head. That could be traumatic. Of course, when Mom comes to check it out, there's no head. Later on, Bob keeps seeing eyes in the basement. Mommy! And now Bob is locked in the basement. Mommy, I'll get you back. Now Bob is being stalked by apparently Mr. Freudstein, or whatever he is now. And a struggle ensues as they try to rescue Bob. And they stab whatever that thing is, and it looks like there's worms and maggots in them. That's close. Guess he didn't like being stabbed. Guess it really didn't affect him either. Because this guy's toast. As Bob and his mom try to escape, mom gets dragged down the stairs. Santa Mom. But Bob does manage to crawl up and get away, ending up back in the living room crawling out of the tomb. And suddenly, life is calm. He's with May and Mrs. Freudstein. So Mrs. Freudstein walks him away. I don't know if they've gone back in time or what, but according to what it says online, uh, she leads May and Bob down a wintry grove into another world of ghosts and sadness. All right, let's talk about this movie, A House by the Cemetery. This is a movie that um, I've never seen before until uh, today and last night. Um, it's the first time I've ever watched it. I've had it on DVD for quite a while. I have it on a compilation DVD. I think it's called like the Pure Terror Collection. I think it's got like 50 movies in one little box set. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's probably a pretty crummy copy. Um, not a cleaned up one like this one is. Um, it's a movie that I believe was on VHS back in the 80s. I never came across it, or at least I, if I did, I never rented it. I just never got around to it. But I don't think it was any in, in, in any of the main video stores that I used to frequent. So I never got a, never had it, never had it. So anyway, uh, thanks to my pal Mark down in Georgia for sending me this. So I have a nice cleaned up version of this. I've looked forward to watching this for a long, long time. Uh, so I'm glad I do have this nice clean copy of it. It's, again, it's uh, from Fulci. It comes on this uh, double DVD here with uh, The Beyond, which I reviewed yesterday. And it's very similar to The Beyond. Um, I think there's three films uh, that Fulci, can, they consider like this Living Dead uh, trilogy, uh, City of the Living Dead, uh, and these two. City of the Living Dead is also known as The Gates of Hell. I've reviewed all three of them now. So, um, again, very similar to like The Beyond yesterday. This one had more uh, of a coherent plot, at least in my opinion, where I could at least follow along with it. Again, there's just all kinds of weird imagery, though, so you don't quite know what's going on sometimes. So there's a tomb in this house, and um, the ending kind of threw me a little bit. That little kid, Bob, he's down there. He manages to crawl through the tomb and get back up in the living room. All of a sudden, he's, he's uh, well, I don't know, was he back in time uh, to Dr. Freud's, Freudstein's house or whatever? Uh, because everything that happened below seems to have disappeared, and that girl was there, and... Uh, 
Uh, she was like a ghost or something originally. I, I, again, I think I didn't read up on it to know exactly what was happening there, but I think he went back in time and uh, joined that family in the past. I think. I don't know. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong and leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. So anyway, just like also like the Beyond and Gates of Hell, uh, very gory. Lots of good gore in this movie. Um, I love that scene at the end with that guy getting shredded by that creature thing in the basement, ripped his throat out and everything. That was pretty cool. There was a woman in this movie who kept getting stabbed repeatedly um, uh, by that fire fireplace poker she got stabbed in the neck and in the chest and stuff pretty gory there too so uh pretty good stuff there in between so anyway check this movie out it's called um house by the cemetery i'm not aware of any other or at least americanized titles this has gone by but uh let me know what you think about it, it was filmed in massachusetts it's an italian made film and uh, apparently the house still stands and everything so check it out let me know what you think about it leave some comments down below we'll talk about it bye